Hello again. Um, I thought I'd do a quick review of the Eddard kit that I've just got. Um, been a bit naughty, probably bought more kits than I should this month, um, but Eddard seems to be at particular prices at the moment. Um, the um, F14 uh, Danger Zone kit, limited edition. Um, fantastic artwork, really like the box art. 148 scale, um, kit number 1. 192. Sorry, we're running out of space here. It's such a big box. <laughs> uh, again, as with most dead eye kits, you've got a really great choice of um, versions here. In fact, we've got five uh, different schemes uh, here, so that's great. Um, it comes with a full selection of resin again, um, so that's cool. Wheels, seats. Uh, the sort of engine uh, ends, exhausts, um, fairly standard stuff on the side there. Right, shall we get in the box? Ah, now one thing I do need to say here is I've had to photocopy the instructions, uh, sorry not photocopy, I've had to actually print these off from the website because this kit came without them. Um, the supplier is very kindly going to send me some, they're going to get get some ordered up. Um, but so I could do this review, I thought I'd print this out because um, this is going to be my next project so I'm going to want to get started on this fairly soon. Um, so we'll quickly go through the instructions as they're, they're here. Um, again, pretty standard um, Eddard instructions, information about the aircraft. Interestingly here, uh, we only got it in English, which is, which is unusual. Um, there we go. Uh, sprue layout um, looks to be quite a few parts that aren't used. In fact, on this kit, because you have the resin, you don't use the engine at all um, because this does appear to come with a, a, a couple of engines. So, um, you know, maybe for a diorama, you could um, make use of the engine, have it on the side, on a, you know, as if it's being maintained or something. Um, gives you some options there. Um, Paint schemes, all in uh, the sort of Mr. Hobby and Mr. Colour stuff um, on there. And again, it's pretty standard to fare really. Um, it, as we probably know, this is the Hobby Boss kit, um, which has probably been reviewed dozens of times. Um, but we go quickly go through this standard stuff through the um, cockpit build. Uh, sort of radar at the front, nose can be displayed, there's a bit of photo etch for that. Um, wheels, obviously we've got the brazin, um resin wheels here. Um, go through there, close up here, the nose. Um, we've then got obviously the option to show up the Gatling gun, which is nice. Um, obviously it can be closed or left open, that's your decision. Uh, wings. Uh, looks like there's a few parts that need to be removed here um, and holes drilled. I'm not quite sure. I've seen some var variant differences. Um, wheel, uh, wings again. And we've got the sort of air intakes here. Uh, resin seats. Very, very nice looking from the photos here. More wheel wells, obviously, for the two main wheels. Then we're sort of getting the wheels in, getting the air intakes in. Here, <clears throat> again we've got the brazen parts for the um, for this part of the engine. Getting it all buttoned up, the main sort of um, body, wings, engines and tail. Um, then we go on to sort of finishing up getting the, obviously the cockpit, the seats in, uh, the canopy um, and the nose going into the main body. Um, rest of hook, um, and then obviously we go on to the sort of armament, the ordnance at the end. Um, don't know if you get a, it doesn't look like you get a huge, I'm not an expert on, on the layout with these things, but there's, there's a choice of a few missiles there, so that's good. Fuel tanks, etc. Um, we've got the masks um, showing us there where to put the masks, and then we go on to the different variants. Um, unfortunately, they haven't um, printed out particularly well off the internet. My printer, I think, needs some new uh, color cartridges. 
um, but most of them are going to be in the sort of light gold grey um, by the looks of things here. And we've got um, the Sundowners, the Jolly Rogers, um, Tomcatters, uh, Gunfighters, uh, Checkmates, and I think this one is just stencil, uh, stencil variants at the end. And obviously an advertisement for additional um, upgrade sets. Um, resin uh, weapon set, um, the fabric seat belts. And of course, there's a further um, sort of external um, photo etch. So you can't really go to town with this kit. Okay, let's get into the box. We've got quite a lot to go through on this, so we will. What we'll do, I think, is put that over there. We'll go through the, let's go through the resin parts first as they come to hand easily. All packaged separately. Um, we've got the engine parts bag here. Um, beautifully moulded. I don't know how well you can see down in there, there's a lot of detail in here. some pieces, blades, fan blades, again nicely detailed, you'll have to be careful taking them off the block I'd imagine, there's two of those, um, all very very nice, they're quite thin, all nicely cast, and you've got detail right inside in fact, you're probably never going to see it, but it's there. And I think this is the camera for the nose camera, this part here. Nice. We've then got seats and wheels. Um, let's put the wheels here. Again, extremely nice. Very, very well detailed parts here. Lovely wheels. Look at all the writing on the side of them there. Good, good year, I think. Cool. Well, that's not as good as it used to be. Very, very nice though. Very, very well moulded. Let's put those back in there. And last of the seats. Again, you've got the main. Oh, we've got a slight damage bit there. That's a shame. That's a real shame. That one's actually slightly damaged. And I don't know why the part doesn't seem to be in the bag. That's a real shame. But anyway, that's the trouble is, when they're this detailed and this thin, the parts, well, I suppose they're trying to get them to scale as accurately as possible. You'll probably see here, they're very, very thin. Fortunately, that one has broken off. I'll have a check in the box in a minute, see if it's in there. Uh, but we've got seat cushions, again, all very, very nicely detailed. Very, very well moulded, nice. Put the guys back in there. Decals, once we've already got those out. Sheets in here. I'm going to start with these. 
again very 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 glossy uh, cartograph beautifully detailed nice vibrant colors again I don't think you're going to have any issues with those at all and hopefully there'll be minimum silvering and they'll go on really well very nice and, oh yes we've got some fantastic turn that up the right way <laughs> Again, as you can tell, they're very, very shiny, beautifully in register. All the writing is readable. Very, very, very nice. Haven't decided what scheme. I may go for the Sundowners um, version. The teeth looks going to look good. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, another great set of decals there. standard uh, Eddard and we've got some additional sort of brass type um, photo etch as well so that's going to look very very nice masks don't think we need to say much about those and then we go into this box bag of bits separate bags plenty of obviously from the uh, hobby boss kit they've obviously I don't know whether it's just a, quite what they do but they obviously um, they've followed the same process with the it's well protected the clears all got extra padding and the intakes because I think these are quite thin as we'll see in a minute Let's start with these everything is in separate bags bags galore here um, I might not open every single bag because there's just so many of them. Um, I'll open the important bits though. Um, I'm not going to bother to open the seats because we're really not going to bother with them. Um, although I may be able to use, again these parts are quite thin, I may be able to repair the resin one with a piece of this and hopefully it won't be too obvious. Um, again, this, actually, no, let's have a quick look at these because if you were getting the Hobby Boss kit, um, and you haven't seen a review of it, this might be useful for you. Um, they're actually pretty good seats, out of the box, you know, careful painting. Um, you know, they'd look pretty good. There's quite a lot of detail there. You've got the separate cushions. Um, not bad at all. There's a reasonable amount of detail there. I think you could probably get away with that, you know. Pretty good. Obviously, they're not, I'm not going to be using these in this particular case, but uh, let's get those. Try and get those back in the packet, you never know. Uh, the nose I'm not going to take out, I leave it in there to keep it protected. I mean, it, it's just a nose at the end of the day. Um, obviously, if you're going to display the um, radar part in the front, you're probably going to have this. Uh, Sort of in the open position. But, uh, there it is. We will open some of these main parts. Um, rubber wheels. Um, obviously, if you really didn't want to use the resin, you could use the rubber ones. They're actually pretty good. I quite like red rubber wheels. I think you know um, they're certainly you know easier than trying to paint normal wheels. And as the, you don't get the horrible seam line down the middle. Certainly on these modern ones, where you're joining parts together, um, they're pretty good. You know, they're not as nice as the resin, but they're not bad. We've got various missiles here. Um, again, I'm not going to open all of these. Um, we've got two packs of the same set of packets. We will open one of them. Let's have a quick, quick look. I'm going to stab myself with a knife. Um, you know, 
they're not bad again obviously you can replace these with a resin aftermarket uh, but I didn't do a range but they're quite nice um, I think one of the um, things that I, I didn't notice on the, the decals but I don't think they give you any decals in this kit with for the um, weapons which is a bit of a pain so you've either got to source them from somewhere else or you've got to go out and buy the um, the brazen ones because the brazen ones do come with the decals um, but luckily I have got the Hobby Boss F14 kit um, so I will probably see what I can scrounge out of there for decals um, and hopefully I'll have enough decals for both kits eventually when I come to do, to do the, uh, the Hobby Boss one <coughs> there um, again a lot of these parts are going to be used um, we've got the sort of uh, exhaust parts for the engine um, you really can see that the detail is actually um, open this up So, let's say you know, the parts, the other, the in box, the main parts, the plastic parts are good. Obviously, the if you didn't have the photo etch, you know, you could do a good paint job on this. And I don't know how well you can see it, but it's the quad, the it's all raised, nicely detailed actually. Obviously, most of that's going to be removed for the photo etch. Um, but if you were building this kit out of the box, um, it's still good. Uh, it's still a good mold. Again, we haven't really got any flash. The instrument panels are again nice if you were to paint them up um, you know, if you're building without the photo etch you'd be able to hopefully get a good result out of that they're quite nicely detailed sorry I'll try not to waffle on too much because we've got an awful lot of parts to get through here um, wheel parts I won't get them out um, Potentially again, the quality of them good, is good. If you were using them with the rubber wheels, um, they're not bad at all. Um, we've got a couple of what looks like Sidewinder missiles. Again, they're in good quality. Not much to say about them really. They're one piece with obviously just the fins. Probably the main parts that we're interested in is the main body parts here. Lovely detail here, um, recessed panel lines, not overstated, and there's no horrible sink marks or anything like that. There is injector pins, but you're not going to see those. Um, got some rivets and things in there, hopefully, you can see that there nicely. Really nice mould there, very good. That'll look good once painted and it take once it's got a wash on it. And we will have, again we've got two intakes, I'm just going to open one for the moment so we can have a quick look at these. These are kind of separate bags, they're quite well protected. Yeah, as you can see these are quite, yeah, it would be easily to damage those. But they do look a little bit bent but I'm sure once they're fitted into place they'll be fine. Again you've got nice um, recessed panel lines there and rivet detail. Lovely. Put that back in there so it doesn't get damaged hopefully. Let's get, that out. Let's get this one open uh, next because that's something to keep that clear parts here. Again this is what I mentioned earlier. And here you'll see we've got the engine parts which aren't actually used in this kit but if you wanted to display the at the engine externally um, there's quite a lot of reasonable amount of detail there you would probably want to add a bit of pipe work or with some lead wire or something like that just to detail it up but with some nice metallic paints um, I think you do a good job there's two of those um, I'm not gonna get those out for the moment but hopefully you can see the detail there More weapons. Again, the quality of these is pretty good. 
you know, there's probably not really any need to go for resin um, unless you really wanted to. Um, again, you've got recessed and some sort of raised lines here, but they're quite nice. Um, here we've kind of got the hard points on there. Let's actually get those out. Take a look at those. Again, there's a nice raised, uh, sorry, uh, recessed detail on there. Let's get one of these out because there's two of them. But you've got nice. You can see that, you've got some nice detail on there. And on the fuel tanks as well, it's all um, recessed. It's nice. Again, it's all flash free. There isn't any, I mean, there are injected pin marks, but you're never going to see those, they're inside. So that's good. Loads of detail, loads of nice um, recessed panel lines, rivet, rivets, all recessed. Um, very nicely moulded, nicely detailed. No complaints there. Well, we will. Uh, no, that's that's have a look at the clear parts as they have a hand. Um, I'm going to just take off one of these, I think. Now, nicely clear. Not too much distortion when you're looking through it. Although, I'm not sure. There is what looks to be. I'm not quite sure how that works. There is a centre seam, I think. There's this two kind of raised parts here, which I assume are supposed to be there. I'm not an expert on F14, so I'll have to get some reference books and have a look. Um, but in between them, there is a slight line, which I think would have to be uh, removed um, with um, sanding sponge and some sort of polishing stick to try and polish that out, or some sort of compound, which is a bit of a shame. Um, other than that, though, that looks very, very nice. Um, very clear. Nice. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, I imagine this part is just the front part. Um, in fact, let's just check that as well, make sure there's no problems there. Uh, yeah, that's beautiful. Nice, clear, sharp. You've kind of got the rivets as well, which is good. No, no problems with that one. And you've got various other little glass pieces as well, obviously for the lights and stuff. That looks good, though. <coughs> right, we're going to try to avoid scratching it. So we will try and put these back on at least loosely. In fact, I'm going to put that to one side, and when I've finished, I'll put that away properly. Um, again, we've got some more uh, pods, hard points, and things like that there. I don't think we really need to go through those. Um, again, it's all flash free, it all looks nice, crisp, pretty good. Again, the fairly important part is going to be the nose and the intakes here. So let's have a look at these. Obviously you've got the main nose here, where you'd be displaying the uh, Gatling gun. Um, nice, you've got some little fine detail in there. Um, I think it's probably worth opening up and displaying that, to be honest. It should be, I mean, I haven't seen the gun yet, but I'm sure it's going to be good. Um, nice, recessed, oh, lovely recessed line, panel lines. Fairly subtle, fairly crisp. Not too much of an issue there. Although they do fade off a little bit around there. But still pretty good. Intakes have got a little bit of um, 
injection mark pin marks there but they're very subtle they should easily easily sand up they're not deep or large they'd sand out no problem at all now we get into the smaller parts and then we'll open this up and have a quick look These are all various little bits. There's the kind of radar parts here. Um, just little odds and ends. There's a ladder, the crew, various pipe work here. I'm not sure what this part is. I think this is more for the nose radar again here. Um, there's some little bits under here. I'm going to leave these on. They're just, um, you probably just see under there, there's little strips for something. I'm not quite sure what, but we'll leave them there. Again, there's no flash oh, I can see. Oh, here's the part of the cannon. Um, looks pretty good. Or out of the out of the box sort of part. I don't know whether there's a resin variant available, but uh, you could go mad with these things. <coughs> uh, again, a selection of other bits here. We've got some nice detail. I think this is for the front. Um, gear uh, bay um, lovely lots of pipe work details here again this is for the I would imagine for the, the landing gear and the main wings section um, the detail here is pretty good although this doesn't seem to be any pipe work that you might want to add you know hydraulic lines brake lines maybe in there uh, there doesn't appear to be any so a tiny bit of extra detail might be needed there, but still very nice. We are nearly there. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at the wing parts here. Again, nice. You've got a lot of rivet detail here, fine. Crisp, nice, no flash, no sink marks. Um, obviously, there's some injection pin here underneath, but you're never going to see them. Uh, I don't think you need to worry too much about that. Very nice. And last of all, let's see what we've got here. All the stabilizers. Vertical, I would imagine. Again, recess panel lines, lots of rivet detail, very crisp, sharp, nice. Again, there's no, um, it's nice plastic, it's not too flimsy. Um, there's a few injection pin marks here, but again, you're not going to see them. You may need to sand them down to get a nice flush fit. I think this part you'll find goes in here and they are slightly raised but other than that I don't think there's much to worry about there um, again we've just got a few last bits here I'm not sure which bits were originally here maybe the intakes and they've taken them off to protect them but something has come off these sprues at, at, at some stage um, this is the bit underneath by the front gear um, this is for the cannon, I think, the uh, Gatling gun, the ammo drum, I would imagine. Um, not much to say, really. It all looks good. Yeah, I think that's going to build into a lovely kit, you know, especially with the extras, um, with the resin parts and photo etch. Um, and obviously, if you wanted to go to town, there's other bits out there, like you can get the additional photo etch, the additional uh, resin parts. Um, nice kit. Definitely good value for money as well. Um, I think I actually paid £39 for that kit. Um, when you think, I think the, you, you, I've seen the Hobby Box ones for about 40 odd. Um, and this comes with all the resin and the, um, and the photo etch. So you know, if you 
it's probably worth looking out at the moment because I, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of um, Edar kits I've noticed at really good prices. Uh, I don't know whether it's the euro at the moment that's making the difference you know, against the pound or what it is, but there just seems to be a lot of really good um, Edar kits out there at a really good price. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. Hope that was of some use. Um, see you again soon.